we're looking toward Labor Day weekend, uh, we are, uh, the global models are actually uh, honing in on some type of tropical system coming through, uh, coming coming into the islands north of uh, Puerto Rico and, and uh, on the uh, far eastern end of Cuba, uh, maybe toward the Windward Islands. I'm um, looking at several runs here. This shows like a a fairly weak tropical storm here. If we take a look at a couple of, oh, well, I can pull them up. Now here's another, here's another look right here. Um, these are uh, Euro and GFS uh, runs here. Here's another, here's another run of the Euro. Shows the storm going all the way across. Uh, heading toward the Gulf, even, or, or, or far south Florida, or the, or the, or the islands. So around Labor Day weekend. Here's another view of it uh, developing east. And then there's this view. This this is the deterministic GFS showing a stronger storm and watch this strengthening it ahead of a cold front because there it pulls away and then of course it makes wants to bomb it to like some night some like category four uh, type system or something. Bottom line is you know, if you watch social media, you've watched things posted all the way from a category five hurricane dang near Mexico City to Category 5 going out to sea to a little spin up depression to everything. So at this point in time since this is Labor Day weekend uh, modeling is going to continue to be kind of out to lunch. Nevertheless, something to watch as we have now are in the technical peak of the Atlantic hurricane season.